Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter, and I'm here on YouTube organizing my stamps, specifically my Purple Onion Designs collection. I have a large collection of Stacy Yakula designs from Purple Onion. This is just a part of them. I was having soup and organizing and realized I was a little overwhelmed because I couldn't find one of the stamps. That's what I was doing this sorting for because I had them all in a big bag that was not working. So I started piling them up and trying to figure out what ways were going to work that actually made sense because these were, it was just, I kind of kept them by release and that wasn't helping because I would try to find the right size raccoon to go with the right size bear and yeah, that was hard. So I took my Ellen Hudson stamp envelopes, my storage envelopes, and I used the tall skinny ones and I made a key on the front of each sheet that has the animals on them and stamped them and did them by size because I figured what I do is scenes a lot and I want to have all my smaller animals together because I want to be able to see them next to each other and see who's the right size to go with who. And they slowly got bigger and you can see here just the size difference you can get in the different stamps from Purple Onion. And those two that I was just pointing to are making a snowman. I'll show you a card with that later. Uh, the frog and the bunny were my first two stamps that I got that started my addiction. And there's this really cute Santa Claus, reindeer, they have fall stamps, all different kinds of seasons. This one is the, one of the new sets. So it's got a fireplace and the chair and all the little bits that go with it. I'll show you a card made with that in a little bit. And then this one, I'm going to color at the end of this video and turn it into a Christmas stamp so or a Christmas design. So stay tuned for that. She's got lots of sentiments and my sentiments were like each in different places. And when it's red rubber, it's hard to see what things are. So it's helpful to have a key for that. So these are the new ones, the ones on top. Love that font. Then she's got lots of scene type things that she's been doing lately. This one's a front door and I'll have a card to show you with that. There's all different kinds of boats and cars and lighthouses and all different sorts of things you can use to make scenes. That little row of stores I'm going to do as a winter scene. And then this little, I guess, I think she calls it a sweet shop. Um, it's going to be another card you'll see later. There's different background scene bits, mountains and water and all different kinds of stuff. She's got trees. This whole big one is one stamp. Then there's these little trees and a tree trunk with a little tree house in it. A row of pines. Goodness gracious, do I have a few stamps or do I have a few stamps? I think I have a problem, Houston. While I was stamping those key sheets, I thought, why not stamp ones that I can color? So I stamped one on the key sheet and then jumped over and stamped them on a piece of Nina so I could color them with my Copics. And that was really a lot of fun. It was very relaxing to just color and not be thinking about scenes. I was just coloring for fun. Uh, there's the two guys with snowballs making a snowman. And this one has the little sticks that go with it. So the little arms. So you can make a scene with a couple of them building a snowman, which I will show you in a bit as well. And these foxes, just for fun, I tried coloring one with red, one with green, and I like the green better because you can tell the difference better between the colors. The red is just a little too close to the color of the fox. And I had really a lot of fun coloring those vehicles down at the bottom there. The Santa Claus is a really fun one to color, nice big stamp. And the reindeer, I made a gray deer because one of my followers here on YouTube told me that reindeer in Europe are gray, not brown. They don't understand why we make them brown here, so I made a gray one just for fun and just kept coloring and coloring and coloring and coloring my images. This one I added a little extra snow to, and I'll even add a little extra more later on when I put the sweet shop together, all those little pieces that go inside. The suitcases go with the vehicles, so there's a like a travel set, uh, travel scenes and stuff. This little guy, I added snow to everything, and I tried to go over some of those trees on the outside edge. It didn't cover the ink all that well, so I have to do a few more layers, but you'll see a card with that in a little bit. These trees down here, to make them wintry trees, just don't color them green. Color them with light blues and light purples, and they look all icy. And then this little mushroom down at the bottom didn't have snow on it, so I added my own snow to it. 
So here are some of the background ones that I colored. This one has light coming out from the treehouse and kind of sp spraying out onto the snow. So you get those reflections and things, which was really fun. This one I cut into a long skinny one because that was the piece of cardstock I put it on and I'll have to trim it to fit on a card. Here's that big scene where again I use blue and purples for my trees and then I can just add images onto it and I do have to cover those little flowers on the left of the tree there since they would not be blooming in winter. And then I sat for a long time and I just fussy cut and 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 that is the results of all that fussy cutting. And I turned them into cards. I, I used a lot of this adhesive. A lot of folks in my last Purple Onion video asked about what adhesive I use with these. And the uh, extreme tabs are really thin. So that's what I use for a lot of this that you're going to see. So here's that inside scene by the fireplace. You can see the detail of the fussy cutting, which was really fun. And adding all those different bits to make a scene was quite the little blast. And on the inside, get in focus, little camera, I put a little puppy in there because it was fun to decorate the insides of these cards too. Next up is the front of the house. I added some light around the lamps. I put some really soft scene on the inside of the glass so you can see through the glass. Some critters on the outside and then put a little birdie on the inside with my sentiment on the card. This one was the outdoor scene. Remember those trees that I showed you? And the little owl is covering up the flowers. And then the other two are building the snowman. I continued the snow in front of the animals so they look like they're part of the scene. And then I put a snowman on the inside as well. And here's the truck that's in front of the little town that I had turned into a winter scene. So I added snow on top of all that. And I also added little critters riding in the back of the truck because I thought that would be fun for them to be going for a little truck ride. And the little guy driving comes with the stamp set, so you don't have to mask him or anything. And then here is the inside with a little birdie putting up decorations. Here's the uh, little sweet shop that I added to that scene with the trees, and I put the little jars and candies and cookies and things in there, along with a mouse who's working the sweet shop, and her little friend who's standing next door to the sweet shop, waiting for you to come and make a purchase and added lots of extra snow all over everything so much fun and then on the inside i put another mouse because why not right and here we have the tree house that now has two residents two little bunnies or else maybe they're visitors who knows if they're residents or visitors but the inside seemed for this one to be appropriate to have a warm and cozy holiday season lantern so that was a lot of fun to show you all those cards. And now I thought I would do a little magical crazy coloring because people like that, right? And it's Christmas, so I like to give you a gift of what you like to see. And I took this little mouse and I decided to turn her into a Christmas stamp. And that is not as easy as one might think, but if you think outside the box, when you look at any stamp you have, you can often turn different stamps into Christmas stamps. I've been Doing that occasionally on Instagram just for fun to see if I could do it. It's more of a personal challenge to me than anything because I just enjoy challenging myself to try something new and different with my artwork. So with this one I'm going to get rid of all of the parts of the flower and I'm going to create a little tree scene by covering all of that up with the dark green and then go in with a really dark gray on top of that to create the negative space behind all of the pine needles. So this little teeny tiny mouse is standing underneath a huge pine tree. And I thought that would be a fun way to create a background for it. That's relatively simple. It's really a lot of flicking with the dark marker and letting that green show through. But there's a lot of working around the little mouse so that we end up with her looking like she's naturally standing in front of something. You could just surround her entirely with black so that you can actually go around her real carefully with the marker, but it's a little nicer if you make it look like she's integrated into that background. And there's parts of it that stick out and parts of it that don't. And I'm just creating lots and lots of little teeny tiny of the, uh, the pine needles, which is, yeah, 
It worked out better than I thought it was going to because I was a little worried that this would not be a successful experiment and that you would not be seeing it because if you hadn't seen it then I was just gonna ditch the footage but since it came out cute I thought it would be fun to share with you how it actually happened. I wanted to create a little bit of a shadow underneath of her so the little Christmas ball that she's got going there will be casting a shadow on the little snowy hillside she's standing on. I used a gold uniball signo pen to create the dangly part for the ornament. And then of course, snow. I go through so many pens when I'm doing Christmas cards because I love making it snow everywhere. It's just so much fun. I used the uniball signo pen and that's what I'm using here. I've sometimes used my Sharpie water-based white pen which gives you a softer dot than this. I kind of have decided, even though I like that pen, I like the sharper white that I get with this. And so that is what I tend to use more often. And also my dog ate two of the Sharpies. <laughs> I have a feeling that could be a sign. So yeah, puppies and Sharpies are not friends, I guess. So for finishing off my card, I use some dimensional adhesive and put it on a card base with a nice white border around it and embossed my sentiment. This video is part of a surprise blog hop for Michelle at Purple Onion Designs. She has a Black Friday sale going on. You can see more on my blog about all of that. You can get the links to the next blog in the hop. And they don't all have videos, but they are all wonderful fans of Purple Onion Designs. I'm giving away to three different lucky winners. I'm giving away a seat in the class on my art-classes.com website. Class of their choice, whoever wins gets to pick one and I will be picking from all comments on all the blogs in the blog hop. So go leave lots of love and you can watch more videos here. There's a playlist for all of my purple onion stuff if you want to see some other videos that I've done coloring her stamps and I will see you guys next time. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye bye.